wanachinja ngombe kila siku. Dominic is talking about the incredible importance with the fragmented population of eastern lowland gorilla to have corridors within the area and that is something that we are trying to help with. Um, other NGOs are helping as well. So you do not want the isolation of endangered animals because of gene flow and so we are trying very hard to secure corridors and how is that done? Uh, that is done by building community consensus, working with the local people, getting them used to the concept of protected areas and allowing the animals to move through. We've been really lucky that the community forest where we work now, the traditional chief, is pro-conservation, he's very well educated, and he's been very supportive of all the work that we've done. I thought it was very, very important to protect the forest because it, it, it brought in many good things for us. The benefit of working with communities is that they do depend on the forest and they need these resources. They're the first to recognize when the forest starts to decrease and when it's harder to get resources. So the next step is trying to connect gorilla conservation with the protection of the forest, trying to get people to understand that protecting the gorillas also protects the forest and that together you need yeah. both of it to actually work. There's only going to be a certain a certain elevation and area where the gorillas are going to be able to pass. Yeah. Um, we, I think we need to move fast. There's some urgency in the work that we need to do yeah. in order to make sure that we can get these areas protected and hopefully by the communities so that they can continue using the resources in a sustainable way. It's a pity because our kids will be just learning gorillas in books but we'll never see it anymore.